right, good afternoon or early day, you guys. It's 9-17, February the 10th. God bless you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, well, I was just standing in line to buy those cards for Monday to give to a police department. And this week, it was for La Follette Police Department. And uh, last week we did um, Jacksboro Police Department. And when I was there in line to buy this morning those cards, um, I was thinking to myself, I gotta go find a police officer, which it's not that difficult. You just, they're driving around here all the time when they drove by. But while I was standing in line there, um, I guess what I'm going to do now is I'll be meeting somebody, but he said um, the chief of this police department would like to meet us. And I said, great, you know, yeah, I'd like to. And he said he's, he's a believer, very religious man. Well, I've got a lot of things I'd like to show him. And I showed it to this police officer, which he said he's atheist. He doesn't believe either way. And I showed him these pictures that I have of the spirits, I said, Do you, can you see that? He goes, yes. I showed him another one, I said, can you see that? And he goes, yes. I said, well, let me tell you something. Most of the churches today are asleep. And if they're not fully asleep, then they're in denial. They're hoping in man, in the world, in the cares, the things of this world. And we're not here for this reason, man. And he's going, you know, and he said, well, it's possible anybody could change in what they think and feel and believe, which is true. And the things, you know, because when these you guys, a lot of the churches, man, you know, when they take wheat, they take and they beat it to break it out of that hard shell to get the weed out of it because it's in a hard casing like. It's kind of like how they are right now in a very hard casing in disbelief. You know, they're gonna have to go through that thrashing to get their eyes woken up. And even, could be even atheist, who knows? That's why it says in scriptures, don't judge anything before it's time. But I mean, we can see, not that we're judging, but we can clearly see the hardness, how they're not, um, they're not, seeing it and and it's because of what scripture says the cares of this life the things in this world we're not here for what people think we're here for we never were at any time were we here for these things all right let me read you something here jude chapter one verse four you guys heard this before for there are certain men who crept in unaware who were before old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men turning the grace of our God unto leviscidus, in other words, immorality, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. You guys, look at when Jesus was here. What did he tell the Pharisees? He goes, if you believed Moses, you would have believed what he wrote about me. He goes, he wrote about me. If you would have believed him, you would believe what I, he say, he's saying. And, uh, you got a little rain going on out here, you guys. <laughs> and see, Jesus was going through that then. They wouldn't believe. They didn't believe. What are we going through now, even? I just got to witness him with this other guy. Said he goes to church and everything. And I told him, we're in these end days. And he goes, well, no one knows that day or hour, you know. We've been in the last days since Jesus Christ, you know. Which is true. But now the end that came upon them they're missing it just like the Hebrews missed Jesus' coming they missed Jesus' coming this is a mirrored image it's a mirrored image of it they missed Jesus' coming then just like they're missing it now because they're hard shell they got a hard shell and that's where they got to beat that wheat you know with that uh, threshing to break that outer casing shell they got to beat it to get it to come out you know and see that's something they, they're not 
they're, they can't do for some reason to love the cares of this life. When scripture says, it says, love not this. You guys, your children, your parents, your mother, your brother, your uncle, your sister, your aunt, your husband, your wife. Everybody's spirit comes from the Lord. They don't come from you. Okay? You, all we do is we, we're giving these children to raise them up. But the spirit comes from God. Not of us. Not of us. And when we're in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to be... Um, your, your brothers and sisters providing their your brothers and sisters here you know those that do the will of God you know remember it says the children will be turning their parents into heaven put to death parents will be turning their children in that's because you guys there's a manifestation happening right now and it's going to be like a light switch when the rapture happens those that are taken it's going to be like a light switch and it's going to be extremely wicked extremely wicked most people can't even fathom how nasty it's going to be. It's going to be real bad, man. It's, uh, it's going to be an eye-opener like they ain't never seen. You know? They missed the coming of the Lord then. Look at what's happening right now. They're missing it even now. Because they're not seeing it. And they want to be in denial constantly. And it, All right, Jude, chapter uh, 19. 19 through 21, okay? These be they who separate themselves sensually, having not the Spirit. But you, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. You see, this is what they're not doing, you guys. Make no mistake about this. We know perfectly well. He didn't open our eyes to be in the blind. This tells me a lot. This is me. This tells me a lot. How these, how these are not even being talked about in the churches. You have to ask why. Why are they not mentioning these scriptures? Even where it's, it goes on right here. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 18. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, <clears throat> through much wantonness, those that were clean escaped from them who live in air. 2 Timothy 4.3 For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears. You guys, I've seen lots of people with tattoos where they got feathers behind their ears. A lot of these people don't even know why they put them there. You know? All right. John, chapter 5, 46, 47. Now, this is where Jesus was talking to the Pharisees. For you, for had you believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings... How shall you believe my words? Yeah, this is what's happening right now. I'm reading these scriptures that they just aren't talking about in the churches today. Uh, today, they want to sit there and say, well, once saved, always saved. You can never lose your salvation, even if you sin. You know, all your sins. Guys, Christ said, sin no more. And it says, if you willfully sin, having the knowledge of the truth, there remains no sacrifice for that. I know not everybody's out there sinning. They're God-fearing people. Okay? But still, this message isn't getting out. There's a lot of people that are getting the wrong messages. Alright. John, chapter 8, verse 44. This is where Jesus told a lot of them in the temple even. You are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you'll do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And he abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaketh of his own. But he is a liar and the father of it. <clears throat> you guys, you remember when Jesus, he came in his own name and he said, I come in my father's name and you reject me. He goes, but there's one coming in his own name. Him you will receive. Now this person also blasphemed against Christ. 
said Jesus ought to repent. That's the Pope. He came to the United Nations and he said, I come in my own name after he was introduced. Matthew 6, 24. No man can serve two masters, for he will hate one and he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and he'll despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Now, here's mammon. Uh, and worldly gain, things to do with this world, that's mammon, okay? As a false god in the New Testament, okay? Material wealth regarded as having an evil influence, okay? You guys, in scripture, it clearly says that Satan is the prince of this world. Jesus said, my kingdom's not of this world, okay? Why is it that here we hang on to the things of this world, including when they go to the churches, you guys? They're very patriotic, patriotic. Knowing this place is gonna be dissolved, what manner of person ought you be? See, this is where the churches aren't teaching these things. It's in scripture. Knowing that this place is gonna be melted with a fervent heat, what manner of person should you be? You know, you can't serve two masters, God and mammon. You know, Satan's the prince of this world. We're here for what? For disobedience. Disobedience from God. Second Peter chapter, or First John chapter 2, 15 to 17. Love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God abideth forever. You guys, this place is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. And when it's over, it's over. You know, unless you're with the eternal. See, there's going to be people going through things. Well, if you read your Bible, you'll understand it perfectly. It's going to be like a light switch being turned on, you guys. These people are all going to turn and change. They're manifesting right now. You can see it. The wickedness, everything that's becoming. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4. Satan, who is the god of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They're unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ, who is the exact likeness of God. You guys, Christ came into the world and the world didn't recognize him. Remember, Satan's the prince of this world, okay? The world didn't recognize them. Why? Because they're all going about their worldly, daily lives here. Okay? They they don't even realize, they forgot why Adam and Eve were even put here. You know, in the beginning, why they were cast out of the garden. They don't even look at these things anymore. Second Peter 2, 3. Many will follow their depravity, and because of them, the way of the truth will be defamed. In their greed, these false teachers, they're gonna exploit you with tales they have con concoded. Long-standing verdicts against them remain in force, and their destruction does not sleep. They're in a lot of trouble, you guys. Don't think for one minute, this is a spiritual warfare. They get into the bodies of people. They're manifesting right now. See, they want you to continue sinning. See, God's given us a window of opportunity here. Repent. Call on the name of the Lord. If you know and see the times that we're in, remember, through Christ you can overcome all things. You can overcome. You can resist. <coughs> all these things, you guys. They're not saying that. They're not telling people. This is the time you want to be repenting of all your sins. And, and having all your hope and faith and trust in the Lord and letting go of this, not holding on to it no more.
if, if I had a message, you guys, that would be it, man. Seek the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, all your might. Let go of these things here. And you should, if you got children, you should be teaching your children this. Not playing games still, not going to games, not, you guys, you got to let this go. I've shared, the Lord showed me the timing of the rapture. A lot of people want to fight and argue. Nobody knows the day or hour, and I'm not saying the day or hour. It's going to be during civil unrest, it's like nothing anybody's ever seen before. These things are getting ready to happen now. Okay. Romans 6, 16, 18. For such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetite by smooth talk, flattery. They deceive the hearts of the naive. Their eyes, 2 Peter 2, 14. Their eyes are full of idolatry. Their desire for sin is never satisfied. They seduce the unstable. They are accursed children with hearts trained in greed. Isaiah 56, 11. Yeah, they are greedy dogs. Excuse me, you guys. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look their own way. Every one for his gain from his quarter. Remember when Jesus ran them out of the uh, temples and said, you're making my father's house into a marketplace? This is exactly what's happening now, you guys. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. But there were false prophets among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who will privately bring in damnable heresies, <coughs> even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And you wonder, how are they denying the Lord that bought them? When they're saying they're... they're Christ, through Christ, Christ came to destroy the works of the devil and abiding in us, he washed away our sins. Because before bulls and all that stuff, what they were sacrificed, it wouldn't wash away our sins, never. And nobody um, could keep God's commandments that right, you know, they couldn't. But then when Christ came in and he took and washed away our sins, now he abides in us. And if he's abiding in you, you're not going to want to sin. You're going to have the fear of God. You will have the fear of God. You'll have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of people out there that do have this. And they are walking according to the word of God. But there's, there's terrors among you too. There's a lot of them actually. A lot of them are even in the pulpit. And they're telling people what they want to hear. Um... We're in some very difficult times, you guys. The messages aren't getting out. And people, like it says, the scripture says in these last days, people having itchy ears, they're going to seek teachers to tell them what they want to hear. This is what they're doing right now. Romans 6, 21. What fruit had you in those things whereof you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. You hear that? Sin. The end of those things is death. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. James 4 17.10 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil. He'll flee from you. Draw nigh to God. He'll draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands you sinners. Purify your hearts you double minded. Be afflicted. Mourn. Weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. He shall lift you up. You guys, Satan's the prince of this world. And all these games, baseball, basketball, football, you notice how they all have ball, ball, bail, bail, bail? Okay, they're games. This is how they control people. Now, we know we came 
out of the garden for disobedience. Now, we didn't come here to play baseball, football, basketball. All these games have been coming in in these latter days, the last days, as knowledge was increasing, flying to and fro. And we're going faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Why? So you can't see. So you're not going to be aware. Let me tell you something. I know people in the police department, they see this evil increasing. They can't deny that. The calls that they get, the drugs. The thing is, a lot of them don't realize how real the spirituality is. All these people in prisons, they're in prison because they never took, took the thoughts captive that came into their mind. What does this tell us? Listen, 2 Corinthians 10, 5. Casting down the imaginations, every high thing that exalts itself against knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Are the churches teaching people to take those thoughts captive? Are they? There might be a few out there. I'm not saying they all are, but the majority. Remember, Satan has seen the whole world. That doesn't exclude the churches. Now, if you look in the churches, what does it say in Matthew 22, the wedding? They were bidden, but they were all busy. What were they busy with? Worldly things. Worldly things. And it says, go into the highways and bid the good and the bad. Guys, what did I spend three and a half years living on the highway for? I mean, that felt like deja vu to me. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. All right, you guys, listen. The Hebrews, back when Jesus came, they missed his coming. They missed it. Why did they miss it? Because of unbelief. They didn't understand the words of Moses. That's why. Look at it now. God's pouring his spirit out to many people right now. Why aren't they hearing it? It's what scripture says. Because of the cares of this life. Satan's choked it out. He's choked it out. Where they don't see it. Or because they took pleasure in unrighteousness. Sinning. That God gives them strong delusions. To what? To believe the lies. What lies? Anything that they're telling them. They're telling them, even if you're sinning. You know, grace and faith and nothing else. What about where Christ says, I will liken him to a wise person when he hears these sayings of mine and does them. All right, versus I will liken him who hears these sayings of mine and doesn't do them to a foolish person. Okay? Five wise and five foolish. Five wise have their oil. Five foolish don't. Why? Because they got this hard shell on them. And it's got to be beat off. You know, they got to go through a process. They got to get that hard shell casing off. See, those are the ones that are going to be beating on the door. Lord, Lord, let us in. They don't know how close this is. You know, listen to this. Obama Nation. We've all heard of the word abomination. And he... He legalized homosexual lifestyle. Okay, passed these laws. Put the rainbow on the White House. Now you see the rainbow flag on, on the LGBTQ. Why is it on there? Because it's uh, God put it in their mind to put it there. Why? To tell you that the covenant is broken. The covenant's been broken. That's what that is. Now you guys, they're just the frosting on the cake. The cake underneath that frosting is a lot more sin than just the LGBTQ. You know, they're just the ones, you know, they're the ones for you to see. God's showing you. He's got to see. He's showing all kinds of things. All kinds. All right, you guys, listen. Trump and the Vice President Pence. Put that in one word. Trump Pence. Now, take the president in Iran. Look at his name backwards. In an hour. In an hour. It's in scriptures. God created all, every vessel there is. Whether they're vessels of honor or vessels of dishonor. But he created each and every one from the beginning of time. Okay? Make no mistake about this, you guys.
God bless everybody. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.